Hey everyone! Thank you for joining me for this video. In this video, I'll show you my painting process and the story behind this artwork. This painting was inspired by a personal struggle I had that pushed me to hold on tighter to my identity in Christ and how God viewed me. I had to remind myself that my worth and value did not come from my looks and that my primary identity was found in Jesus. And that's how this painting was born. The reason I painted her blonde and with white skin is because it resembles how I look. And this painting for me is a reminder that I am made in God's image and that I am beautiful in God's eyes. And that's true for everyone. The Bible says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14 I hope this painting serves as an encouragement for anyone out there struggling to accept themselves or having other identity issues. While it's good to work on ourselves and improve what we can, there should also be that healthy appreciation of where we are today. Because regardless of where we find ourselves right now, we can rest assured that God loves us, values us, and we have inherent worth that is not based on our looks or achievements. If you are a Christian, then you are a child of God, and your primary identity is found in who you are in Him. Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. For that reason, it's important to nurture our bodies, not only with a healthy lifestyle, but also by monitoring our self-talk and aligning how we view ourselves with what God says about us. If your struggle to accept yourself is not external, but more internal, the Bible says that as Christians we are made new in Christ. Now we have a new identity in Jesus. Our past mistakes and sins don't define us anymore. I painted flowers around her as they remind me of our flowers in the garden that spring up after the winter. The flowers in this painting represent new life that each one of us has in Christ when we accept Him as our Lord and Savior. 
If you haven't accepted Jesus into your life yet, I want you to know that you can. No matter where you are in life or what you have done, Jesus offers all of us His grace and forgiveness. The Bible says, if you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9 If we confess our sins to Jesus and ask him for forgiveness and believe in him as our Lord and Savior, then we can have eternal life in him and be saved. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to the channel.